they like doing that. And um, they could very well, we could find out real fast if these. <laughs> Woo wee, that'll get, that'll get them moving. Uh, way to go, Tat. Look at him being the man of the family. Okay, Tat, I think you've proved your point. Tat wants all dogs out of the pasture. And look here. They just said, we'll just go play over here. Tat says, move along. <laughs> he is such the protector. He's turning, you know what he's doing. He's turning into a little man way too soon. He's only six months old. And they told us we would have two years, guys. They told us we would have two years before we have to worry about this. Well, guess what? There's a six-month-old who's acting like a two-year-old man. Birds mature. These birds mature at three years old. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Pearl, Pearl, leave him alone. Boy, you all were witnesses right there to... Uh, do you, can you just be a lady? Do you have to do that right here? I'm making a video and everyone can hear that gush. Oh boy. The reason I'm watching the girls as they walk across the pasture is because we put a perimeter collar on them. We put a perimeter collar and it's set to 500 feet from the shop, which is here behind me. Now, I don't know exactly how far 500 feet extends, but it has a vibrator. It vibrates around the collar when they've gone too far. And I'm trying to see what's gonna happen as they reach that spot, that magic spot. I don't know how far 500 feet is, but I'm thinking if 500, 300 feet is a football field. So we're looking at about a football field and then some and so i'm thinking at any moment i don't know exactly but we like 500 feet because that allows them to go down to the river which is that direction they can go out to the pond which is over there those are their favorite places to go but we don't want them going as far as miss pat's house we don't want them going to mr kenny's house which is through them woods and we don't want them going over to mr pete's house which is of course course on the other side of the property uh, no one has complained about the girls yet except for mr. Pete and this is nothing against mr. Pete this is nothing against mr. Pete he's our neighbor y'all and good neighbors if you want to keep an, a good neighbor and you want to be a good neighbor you don't let your dogs go onto their porch eat their dog food um, plus mr. Pete keeps his dogs inside the house so every morning we let our girls out and they do what dogs do. They start roaming around and they don't really know their limits. I wanna show y'all something though. Isn't that sweet? Isn't that sweet? But they don't know their limits. And uh, so they make Mr. Pete's dog start barking. So he's inside the house trying to sleep. He and his wife are trying to sleep and their, their dogs are going crazy because our dogs are on their porch. I just set me another deworming block out. The cows have gone all the way through that one over there. Uh, what's going on with you, Tat? What is he up to? So what happened was it's cute. A couple of these leaves were falling around him. He thought he would just dance in the leaves. And this is the reason. So this is our weekly pearl update. This is where I would like to talk to you all about what you think. What are your thoughts? Uh, sometimes it's hard for me to... <laughs> Sweetie! Sometimes it's hard for me to tell exactly how she's doing because I love her all the time. But um, for you guys who don't get a chance to see her as much, what are your thoughts? I don't think she looks worse but I can't say for sure if she looks better. She's come right over here to me, along with everybody else, which is cute. Um, we don't know for a fact if this dewormer block is being effective anymore on her, 
but I will say that they have, the cows have completely eaten that one down to the ground. So it's funny how they know when they need it. They don't do it for the taste. They do it because they, it's like their body tells them they need it. The same way some of us, you notice your kids will be eating dirt. These bir birds are so funny. They're like, are we going to get fed anytime soon? Because we're kind of hungry. I haven't done any feed up this morning yet. I wanted to drop this block off first. Well, Pearl, I think that you're looking fine. I, I don't think that you're roly-poly fat. But I also don't think that you've lost any more weight. Kitty. Oh, boy. I got kitty cats. <gasps> Pearl, you better be sweet to that kitty. <laughs> Pearl's like, this is our, this is my uh, borders. Borders, please. Can we all agree on some borders? And this is my area. Here's her other side. Thank you, Pearl, for showing us the other side. Trixie, careful there, love. This is the other side of Pearl. Oh, that'll be a great title. The other side of Pearl. <laughs> this is the other side of Pearl. Guys, I think she's looking pretty good. I, I think that you might agree with me. I think she's looking pretty good. I would have to go back and find video from two weeks ago when I dewormed her with the ivermectin down her back. But I think she's actually looking pretty good. Now, you can't expect rapid growth, rapid weight gain, not this time of year. So this is neat. Now the dogs are going back out again. They're going to test the waters. You know what I just now thought about? Can those collars get wet? Because they like to go into the water. Can those collars get wet? Look at uh, Fiona wants her collar off. Middle's like, I'll help you. I, I know I can know just what to do. I got great teeth. I'll take off yours, you take off mine. As y'all can see, Trixie doesn't have to wear one. Guys, leave the dogs alone. They're out playing. Yeah, because these dogs will go right across that pond. Oh, boy. Everyone could hear the gusher, and it, that, that would be Santana. That would be Santana, the gusher. Look who's enjoying the dance. Gracie's thinking that's really pretty. She would like to try that one day. I'll tell you who did not like that was this, these two right over here. They are sick and tired of these birds taking all the attention off and the focus off of them. <laughs> So what you just now witnessed was Tat running the dogs out of the pasture. And then Pearl and Jolene, I'm sorry, Pearl and San Tiana running the birds out of the pasture. <laughs> or at least running them out of this area. Oh my gosh. Could you please be a lady? If a guy was doing that, y'all would all be freaking out and covering your eyes. But for, for San Tiana, it's completely fine. That's the whole thing. That's the whole thing, y'all, right there. That's, that's it in a nutshell. Women can do things that's completely acceptable, but a man does it, and God forbid. God forbid. So this over here is actually a really good example of where we would like Pearl to be. You see how healthy Santana looks. Now, Pearl looks nothing like Santana. Her coat is not as shiny. Uh, you don't see as much fat you know, around her hips, her sides, her belly. So we're not saying that Pearl is 100% by, by any means, but we also know that Pearl is a longhorn, and longhorns are not, quote-unquote, beefy cows. Well, you're not a beefy cow, baby. I'm sorry. You're not. All right, listen, I think I've kept y'all long enough. I hope you were entertained by that, and I hope you also got a little bit of information that you might can use, some education out of it. So as we say, we're all about edutainment purposes only here. And uh, even better than that, guess what? We're going to give y'all a little physical workout.
You know what time it is. Everybody, get up, get up, get up. Come on, on your feet. It's time for us to do a little dance. Y'all ready? Come on. I'll see y'all next video. Don't let your troubles fester. Come watch Longhorn Lester. Yeah, yeah. something like that.